Today, we gonna create 3D illusion text with Blend Tool in Adobe Illustrator. In the previous video, I have made a tutorial on how to make 3D objects with Blend Tools. I put the link in the description, and I think many things can be created using only the Blend Tool. Okay, without wasting any more time, now we go to Adobe Illustrator. First, we make the background as gradient color. I use pink and yellow gradient colors. For the pink color, I use R, 250. G, 87. B, 104. And for the yellow, R, 255. G, 227. B, 126. Set the gradient angle to 45 degrees. And for the color stop on the pink, I move it a little to the left. So, that it adds the impression of pink looks more concentrated. Now, as usual, lock the background layer. And create a new layer for the next step. Please note that the blend tool can blend objects to create and distribute shapes evenly between two objects. You can also blend between two open paths to create a smooth transition between objects, or you can combine blends of colors and objects to create color transitions in the shape of a particular object. So, to create the illusion of dyad, we need two objects to blend, and one path as a spine. First, we make two circle objects to blend. I use the ellipse tool to make two circles, with height and width 180 pixels. Then open the gradient panel to apply the color gradient. For the first color on the right color stop, I give it pink, with R, 250, G, 87, B, 104. And the other side, I use bright pink with R, 255, G, 200, B, 197. After the first circle has been completed. Now just duplicate the circle, to create the second circle. Now, create a path as a spine. To draw this path, I am using pen tool and draw a line resembling number 2. Make sure that the fill is none. And for stroke, fill with black. Just like so. When done. Now, select the blend tool, and click one of that circle. Then choose the other one. After the two circles are blended, now choose the line that we have made as a spine. Then go to the object menu. Blend. And select replace spine. And the results now still don't show up the way we want. We still need to make some adjustments. For that, we have to open the blend panel. Just go to the object menu. Blend. And select the blend option. But for a shorter way, just double click the blend tool. Then the blend options panel will appear. In this panel, just change the spacing into specified distance. With one pixel for smoother transition. The orientation is aligned to page. Then click OK. Well, for now, just need a few more adjustments. Double click the object to open the contain layer and select the circle, on tail of the number 2. I want to change the size be smaller. And the angle of the gradient I change to minus 90 degrees. And the end result looks like this. Now, I will make the number 0. Same as the number 2 that we have created earlier. Create two circles with 170 pixels. And apply the same gradient as number 2. And for spines, draw an ellipse, with the ellipse tool. Blend it, and select, replace spine. Here, we have a case. Where the two circles cannot meet each other. 
Whereas, I want the two circles to meet each other. That is because the spine we make is an object with a closed path. For that, we have to make it as open path object. To fix it, just use direct selection tool. Select one of the anchor points and cut it, with this cut path. After the anchor point is cut, we can see that the two circles that have been blended have met one another. Because actually the two circles that blend, are following from end to end of the spine, which has become an open path. Again, double click the object. Select one of the circles in it. And change the size to 80 pixels. As we saw in the results, the smaller circle is above the big circle. But I want that smaller circle to be below the bigger circle. For that, I just need to right click on it. Select arrange. And click send to back. When finish, just double click outside the object to exit the containing layer. The last, play with rotation and send to back. Now, because we only need number 2 and 0. So, we don't need to make a new numbers anymore. Only copy the two objects down by pressing the ALT key on the keyboard, and lifting it down. And here we are, 3D illusion text design has been completed. For this new copy, I do some adjustments to beautify the appearance. Double click the number 2, to open contain layer. After that, select the circle on tail number 2. Right click, arrange, and send to back. In order to attach the impression, that tail number 2 is bending backwards. Finally. Rotate the larger circle to the right, so, that it adds the impression of light coming from the side. The rest, I do a few more adjustments to make it look beautiful. And the final step is, add some circle accents around the 2020 design. First, create circle with ellipse tool. And apply gradient color with two color. One with light blue. R, 141. G, 217. B, 213. And the other one with, R, 231. G, 251. B, 249. Put around 2020 randomly, with a random size 2. Okay, now we are done with this design. Before I ended this video. This is just one of technical process to create some design stuff. You can use one of that technique, or you can combine with another technique to create more creative design stuff. Finally, if this video is very useful, please subscribe, like, or share this video to help this channel grow. Or if you have questions, or else, about the contents of this video, you can comment below.